near Automata. Everything that lives is designed to end. We are perpetually trapped in a never-ending spiral of life and death. Is this a curse? Or some kind of punishment? I often think about the god who blessed us with this cryptic puzzle. A high-tech fighter jet speeds through the sky. Yorha Squadron, come in. To be here, all units have penetrated the stratosphere. Autopilot systems green across the board. Five other fighters join into a formation beside each other. This is Operator 60. All units confirmed. We've passed the 50 kilometer threshold and are proceeding toward the target. Understood. Once you reach their anti air defenses, proceed to manual attack formation. Then destroy the Goliath class unit by any means necessary and gather what data you can. Understood. A casualist with the laser. 12H down. All units activate manual mode and rely on visuals to evade. Already engaged. Free movement unlocked. Origin point of long range lasers confirmed. Another fighter gets hit. 11B down. Our HO229 cancelers are ineffective. Alert. Enemy unit sighted ahead. Requesting permission to engage. Permission granted. The remaining fighters battle incoming targets. 7E down. Surrounding enemy air units confirmed. Requesting permission to assume mobile configuration. Permission granted. The fighters transform into Batamex. Captain, I think. 4B down. Two B to operator six O. All allied units down. The operation is compromised. Awaiting further orders. Uh, operator to 2B. We need you to rendezvous with Unit 9S and begin gathering data on the local terrain. Understood. The lead fighter transforms back into a jet and speeds towards an industrial island. The fighter passes through many tight industrial corridors. The jet smashes through a wall at the end of a tunnel. A young lady in a black dress with white hair flips through the air. She lands on her feet in the middle of an industrial <coughs> circular room. Activating short range attack. Gear. She draws a cat on a like silver long sword. <laughs> She has a black blindfold Alert. around her eyes and a small detected. targeting yes, drone hovers over her shoulder. A group of metal robots with round heads and glowing red eyes surround her and attack. She attacks and cuts down their metal robots. They explode into pieces. The drone attacks with the hail bullets. A bigger robot jumps out and begins to charge at her. She slices through it, kicks it across the room, slamming against the wall. Enemies it deactivates. Destroyed. Not quite. The wall bursts open, and a giant industrial digging saw blade attached to a machine arm swings at her. The broken room now exposes the outside sky. Is that our target? Negative. This enemy is unrelated. Proposal, dispatch it as swiftly as possible. You don't say. The arm swings at her. Multiple rockets shoot the saw blade arm. The arm explodes into pieces. Uh. 
A battle mech appears, hovering in the air above her. A young man, with a black suit and white hair, who is also wearing a black blindfold, stands piloting the mech fighter jet. Better make sure he's actually dead next time. That was dangerous, ma'am. You're 2B, right? My name's 9S. I'm here to provide support. Copy that. So, was that big old buzzsaw the Goliath you came here to take out? No, just another defensive system. Oh, well, uh, I guess we have to find the target then, huh? I've got a flight unit, so I'll take a look around the perimeter. All right, I'll work my way inside from the ground. 9S flies away in the battle mech. 2B runs into the outdoor industrial area. The area is littered with red rust and iron beams and machinery every which direction. Running down a corridor, 2B fights off groups of machine enemies. They fire red energy orbs at her while she easily dices and cuts them with her blade. B continues to fight the Gullen machines through the industrial area. You know, ma'am, I'm glad you're here. Why? Scanners like me mostly work alone. Scouting out enemy lines and all that. I don't usually get a partner. It's kind of fun. Emotions are prohibited. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. And another thing. Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? It's unnecessary. All right, then. To be it is. This place sure is big. I guess humans used to use it as a weapons factory. But now it's just crawling with machines. The enemy seems to have repurposed the facility to increase their overall machine production. So if we don't destroy it, they'll just keep coming. Is that...? You mean the birds? Yeah, there's more plants and animals here than there used to be. Probably because the environment's changed. 2B comes to a large clearing on an industrial bridge. There should be another facility across that bridge. It's a bit of a hike, but should we check it out? It's not like Command to get a location wrong. I guess even they get bad intel from time to time, huh? Hmm. I wouldn't bet on that. As she walks down the bridge, Two giant industrial digging saws surround her on the left and right. They begin spinning at her. She fires back with her Alert. drone. High power jamming detected. No response from long range communications. Doesn't matter. I'll just take him out. Is that? Target enemy detected. The two saw blades pull away and connect to a skyscraper-sized robot body. The massive robot leaps toward her position and sends a wave of water over the now broken bridge. Its face stares at her with red glowing eyes. The Goliath robot begins to attack with its saw blade arms. She fires back with her hover drone and attacks the arms with her blade. Nine as flies in with his mech fighter. Nine as now begins to fire as well. What's your status? This is the target. I'm going to destroy. Uh, right. I'll provide support. Packing in. Nine S gains control of missiles from the robot and fires them back at it. <laughs> Bo 
ghost! The robot swings at 9S and knocks him out his mech. His body falls down onto the deck of the robot. The robot powers down. 9S! 9S black box signal detected. No response to communications. I'm and 2B runs him. towards the Goliath after 9S. Send a support request to command. Negative. Communications have been jammed. Two B spots 9S. nine S. He is torn up, missing an arm and a leg. His android interior robotics are seen. Two B runs up to the side of nine S. I have to repair him. Hod, get me staunching gel and logic virus vaccines. Then access the. Inadvisable. The subject's vital signs are too poor to attempt field repair. Shut in up! Current. Just do what I say. To be just go. Will you shut up too? <clears throat> we we're soldiers. We take pride in our service. <sighs> HO229 Flight Unit, Command 677 received. Usage rights transferred from 9S to 2B. Requesting acknowledgement. Please. All right. to B boards 9S's mech fighter. And 2B begins to fire. smashes the head of the robot with it. <laughs> the Goliath files missiles as a last ditch effort. You just die already! 2B detaches from the mech and dives towards the Goliath's head, stabbing her blade into its eye. The robot erupts in an explosion, and 2B is not back on the, the deck where 9S is lying.
9S grabs her hand and lifts her up. Talk about bringing the battle to them. Ought to be. Contact command. Request assistance. No. It doesn't look like that's going to be necessary. Three other Goliaths emerge from the water, surrounding the deck. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't imagine that... <coughs> this is going to end well. 9S reveals a black box. The black box. It's ready. Right. Requesting destruction of enemy hostiles via black box reaction. Request accepted. It was an honor to fight with you. Truly. The honor was mine. A massive explosion engulfs the whole area, and everything goes white. B is now on a space station above the Earth. Uh. 2B meets 9S in the hallway. So, mission complete and all that, huh? The Goliaths were wiped out and we secured a route into enemy territory. Now we can... 9S. Yeah? Thank you for uploading my data to the bunker. Um, I did that? Sorry, I don't remember. There wasn't a whole lot of bandwidth down there, you know? I probably only had enough time to back up your memories. Mine are only intact up to the point just before we rendezvoused. I see. Glory to mankind. Glory to mankind. A computer animation displays diagrams of the Earth and the Moon. 5012 AD. The year mankind's glorious history came to a sudden and abrupt end. When the world was invaded by aliens from beyond the stars, the aliens unleashed a new breed of weapon, machine life forms, that all but annihilated human civilization. The handful of survivors that remained fled from Earth, seeking refuge on the Moon. 5204 A.D. Humanity launched its counterattack, deploying an army of androids from a network of orbiting bases. But after more than a dozen large-scale descents upon the enemy, we still haven't managed to repel the invaders. Our android is looking at the display. She has long white hair and is wearing an all-white dress uniform. Other masked androids are wearing black uniforms standing next to computer operating stations. That is why you, the Yorha forces, exist. To break this stalemate, once and for all. You are our ultimate weapon, and you must put an end to this war. Understood, sir. I wish you good hunting. Glory to mankind! Glory! To Glory they all salute to mankind. Uh, hello. Go ahead and adjust your settings so you can hear me, all right? All right. Are we good now? Okay. Settings should all be good to go. Uh, hold on. 
Your self-destruct permissions are missing. Wait a sec, we need to restore those. I could set it for you, but you should probably do it yourself. Regulations and all, you know? Okay, good. If things go wrong during an op, you may have to sacrifice yourself in order to finish it, so... Once you're finished making adjustments, you can go ahead and close this out. Morning. Tubi wakes up in a futuristic bedroom. Nine S. The commanders put me in charge of your maintenance, ma'am. That means I'll be performing regular checks on you from now on. I see. Oh, don't worry. We 9S models are the best around, you know. Though I suppose we're not exactly known for our modesty. 9S. Hmm? What is it, ma'am? Stop calling me ma'am. Huh? There's no need to be so formal. Uh, all right. If you say so. Oh, I almost forgot. The commander was calling for you. We better go see what's up, ma- Er, 2B. 2B and 9S meet with the commander who is the android in the white uniform. Ah, 2B. Maintenance finished? Yes, commander. You detonated your black box in order to defeat the enemy. Bold, but risky. Try not to be so reckless next time. Understood. I know you're fresh out of maintenance, but I have another mission for you. I need you to head to the surface. Rendezvous with the Resistance and do some recon. Doesn't Yorha have a dedicated Resistance contact already? We haven't been able to get in touch with them, so we'll need you to look into that as well. Understood. The surface? That means we'll be getting flight units, huh? Better head for the hangar. <laughs> Usually we can't get near flight units. They're way too expensive for us grunts. Too bad they can't mass produce these things yet. The hangar's up ahead. Let's go. Tubi and 9S board their mech fighters. 